Hello everyone, uh, this is Irfan. Welcome to my channel. And today's in this session, I am going to cover about uh, how to create the vendor advanced request and uh, again, as to that request, how to uh, post that payment entry. So I will in this session, I will show you the uh, whole process step by step process. And before starting it, I will show you my vendor. Uh, I will take one example as a one vendor, and I will show you uh, whether they have any uh, special GL line items or not. Then we'll go into the like that thing. Okay, so to view the vendor line item, I'm using the transaction code ABL one N. One N, yes. So this is my vendor, the four ten zero five, and company code is two thousand. I am selecting here open item now as of now. A normal item so uh, when I select the open item uh, its system is only showing me only one line item which is a care uh, invoice document and I'm going one step back and uh, I will be to view the special GL items or any down payment request we need to select the uh, this thing these two things special GL transaction and noted item then only system will uh, show us anything is there so this is a down payment entry down payment document here so if the down payment request is there though uh, then the system will update the special gl uh, item as a f if it is f then it is it would be a down payment request if it is a then uh, it would be a payment entry down payment payment entry okay so to post a request to post a down payment uh, request so we need to use the transaction code F dash 47 see here we can see down payment request so here I'm taking the document date as a same date posting date and document type is automatically came here ka and my company code is 2000 and the period is 9 and currency is INR and here we need to select our vendor so in my case my vendor is 34105 and target special GL as a A and then hit enter then uh, here we need to enter the amount so in my case I'm taking an example as a 900 INR and the due date as a, I'm taking as a 2809-2023 just hit enter uh, so in my case uh, the fund FM uh, fund management is activated so based on the derivation rule uh, these things are all auto automatically updating the fund and fund center and the commitment item so just ignore it and then click on just uh, click on post so here we can see the document was posted in company code 2000, 2000. so when you dis display this document you will see only one line item so this is the only request so again is to this uh, system will generate another line item when we, whenever we had uh, we have done the payment entry so to before doing the payment uh, I will show you in the report here one step go one step back so I have selected a special deal transaction and noted item and then click on execute so now this is my entry so here system has updated as F F means down payment request and it's currently showing as not due so I will post one uh, payment entry to this line item then system will update uh, this line item as a uh, EA so payment entry is done right so this will be cleared this item will be cleared and this item will be whatever the payment entry we have posted that item will be shown as open item so for that we need to manually clear it so I am going the transaction code F-48 okay now again I am selecting the document date as the same date and my here we can see the document type is KZ and the remaining all things are same period 9 and company code is 2000 and here I am selecting the vendor and then here I need to select the special GL indicator as a 8 and then we need to select the house bank and uh, bank details and this is my outgoing GL account ending with 3 and here I am entering the amount as 1 otherwise if we know the amount we can directly enter the amount otherwise we can enter this 1 and then click on uh, here request so system will show the down payment request again is to this vendor okay so currently we have uh, only one request one down payment request so i am selecting this one here 
and then click on post uh, balancing will profit center in the item 01 not filled okay so for now the, for this uh, system is looking for the profit center uh, the profit center should be entered either uh, in line item 1 or line item 2 so i am entering the line uh, in line item 1 and the balance sheet gl account level so based on uh, if we enter here system will automatically uh, fit the same profit center at line item 2 as well so here i'm entering the some reference just hit enter and then click on document and click on here simulate so here we can see the entry now uh, and when you if you click on simulate in general ledger here you will be seeing the profit center whether the profit center is derived for the second line item or not we can see here so in my case the profit center is deriving automatically so i have uh, uh, updated the profit center only for this line item so uh, in my case the document fitting is activated so system is automatically deriving the profit center from the first line item so go one step back here and then click on post so we can see here document has been posted now in company code 2000 and if you want to uh, display the document just select the document and display so here this is the entry outgoing account is credited and uh, vendor account has been debited now if you check the vendor report uh, sorry vendor line item report initially it was a credit line item now we have posted the debit line item now i will refresh this one so the system has uh, the debit entry is posted so it's showing as a uh, open item okay the payment entry, entry has been posted so the system has updated the special gl transaction code as the ea so if you want to see both line items vendor uh, down payment request and uh, down payment entry you need to click on go back and select all item and this should be remain same normal item and special gel transaction and noted item and then click on execute so here you will uh, see those entries here so this is the payment entry ending with 5009 and this is uh, again to this document so here we can see the clearing document is also updated here. okay so that's all in this section Thank you so much.